Hello my beautiful Sagittarius. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Goretti and today I'm going to do a reading for you for the solar um, eclipse that we are having. It is a total solar eclipse in Aries. New moon in Aries is on the 19th, solar eclipse on the 20th and Mercury retrograde on the 21st. Lots going on here guys. This has to do with new beginnings as well as stepping into your power but the solar eclipse is going to eclipse things out of your life this is going to remove things that no longer serve you it's the final push to let these things go to remove these things that are blocking your success abundance and happiness um, we also have Aries going square with Pluto. So Aries is all about, you know, passion and power and, um, you know, Pluto is about transformation. So some of you might be feeling frustrated, um, that things aren't moving along or that things are kind of, you know, uh, being stunted right now. Okay. But this is all part of this eclipse eclipse energy. Uh, the eclipse energy lasts for four to six weeks around, but the season is actually about six months. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear our energy space here. I'm going to remove any negative energies and entities and any evil eye that you might have in your space and mine. All right, guys. Here we go. Removing any negative energies and entities and any evil lie from your space and mine. Thank you. It is done. It is done. And so it is. All right, you guys, here we go. So I already started pulling some Oracle cards for you. Very first card I got out was pause. So this is saying to take some time out. Some of you Sagittarius needing to take a time out, needing to pause. And then I heard reflect. Okay. And the next card that you got was listen. Okay, so many of you need to spend some time in meditation. This is very clear. Many of you need to pause, slow down, stop, especially during this season and listen within. Listen to what spirit has to say to you. And you're only going to... Blah, Mercury retrograde. You're only going to figure it out when you go within. Okay, my loves? And then we got uh, from the unicorn deck, we got sanctuary, take time out from the world, spend more time alone and meditate or go on a retreat. You guys cannot make this up. I am telling you, I shuffled the cards. I pulled cards before and shuffle. Trust me, I shuffle the deck and I cleanse the deck and everything uh, in between readings. This is the first card that came out. And then what comes out is miracles. Okay, so when you go within, when you spend that time to hear spirit, when you go within, release any, you know, blocks, negativity, subconscious, old beliefs that don't need to be there. Whatever this is that you do when you pause and go within and meditate and spend time in nature and spend time with yourself, you are going to hear, you need to listen, but you're going to listen to your intuition. You're going to hear your intuition. You're going to hear source energy, the divine, right? And that is how you are going to create miracles as well. Meditating and going within to be able to create and manifest your miracles and dreams and this says have faith that your miracle is on its way your prayers have been answered surrender the how go within to manifest and create go within to pray for what it is that you want and then surrender the how surrender to the divine and know that these miracles are coming in for you and then we got waxing gibbous overcome final hurdles fix lingering issues sorry guys prepare for success okay i keep hitting the mic i apologize um so this is some of you need to go within for this final push during the solar eclipse going within to fix any hurdles many of these are within your own subconscious mind i am hearing and then first quarter keep up the momentum move forward steadily take steps each day many of you this is meditating this is I just heard Sagittarius, you think that you need to put in physical work, but actually this is the work that you need to put in. These are the steps you need to take every single day, meditating, doing a meditation, you know, ritual or, uh, you know, schedule, sorry, is what I want to say, meditation schedule or routine every day 
and this is what you're working on okay that is the work that you need to do that's how you gain the momentum that's how you go towards these miracles and dreams all right some of you need to do that and start nurturing yourself and then we have flower of life here from the sacred geometry yeah you guys this says cocoon stage you guys are going within this is the work that you're doing you're doing the work within your heart within your mind your subconscious this is the work that you're doing to create what the flower of life the fruit of life as well i'm seeing here this is your dreams your manifestations your miracles and then we have reflection here reflect upon a life experience okay so this is going within to reflect upon your past, to reflect upon these things that need to be let go, to reflect as well on what you're trying to manifest and create. Because whatever you focus on persists, whatever you focus on grows, whatever you focus on you manifest and create. All right, my loves, let's get into the reading. Wow, very straightforward, you guys. Very straightforward. Okay, messages and guidance, please, Holy Spirit. Let's see what we have in the tarot. I'm using a very Aries Energy a deck here. It's got kind of a darker um, artwork to it. And then I'm going to be using my Golden Tarot to clarify. Messages and guidance, please. Very much Solar Eclipse Energy. And Final Shuffle. Okay. Here we go, bottom of the deck, High Priestess, going within, intuition, connect to your intuition, connect to the light, connect to your wisdom, connect to your higher self, to your spiritual self, connect to spirit, you guys, by going within and meditating. Very clear message from spirit, that is what spirit wants you to know. All right, cutting the deck here. <laughs> Wow, you guys. Ooh, don't want to leave that there. Yep, absolutely. Okay, beautiful. Bottom of the deck. Ooh, bottom of the deck, you guys. We got six of cups. So this is from your past. This is childhood I'm seeing. Seven of Swords, this could be somebody from your past that was a liar, cheater, stealer. This is very much narcissistic energy, either from your childhood or a past relationship here. That is what is blocking your success. It's blocking your vision. For others of you, yeah, this has to do with childhood. Some of you, this is self-sabotage behaviors that are blocking your success. And it comes from things that are in your subconscious mind from your childhood, okay? Okay. What we have at the center of the deck, we have victory and success with six of wands here. So this is you being, uh, some of you also I'm hearing ego. So some of you, this has to do with ego issues in your subconscious mind, right? But for many of you, this is you're really fo needing to go within, meditating, spending time with source energy to be able to create victory and success okay some of you also here um with the six of wands are are really stepping into your power as well i'm seeing here and many of you are stepping into your power in a new direction with the full card taking a leap of faith okay what we don't see is the four of swords what you don't realize is there's healing energy that is happening underneath the surface or needs to happen and this is what's going to happen when you go within and you meditate and you connect you know, in meditation to source energy, it is to create healing from whatever past this is. In the recent past, justice could have to do with legal stuff, but this is injustice, bringing things back into balance in the recent past for others of you. Yeah, this is karma. This is karma coming in for you. Things that happened in your past need to come back into balance and healing needs to happen underneath the surface there. Um, five of cups, or sorry, Eight of Cups is what we see in your um, in your advice position. Eight of Cups is saying walk away from what no longer serves you. Especially this is what the solar eclipse energy is all about. Walk away from what no longer serves you. Okay. Um, and then potential outcome. We got the devil card. So this is, you know, as potential outcome for me, what I'm getting here is this is you really stepping into that Capricorn 
you know, energy, that powerful, you know, hard work, um, stability, successful energy for others of you. This could, this outcome could have to do with devil energy, fears, bondage, obsessions, addictions, things like that. And when I went to further clarify, we got two of coins. So this is, you know, juggling, and then we have the world card endings and new beginnings. So what's coming to an end is any devil energy fears, you know, um, any negative thoughts, beliefs, any negative people, patterns, situations, whatever this is, that's what solar eclipse is all about. It's going to remove these things from you, this devil energy. Okay. And what's that bringing in nine of cups. This is wish fulfillment, your happiness. So we are ending any kind of juggling, going back and forth, any wishy washiness, anything going back to devil energy, whatever this is for you, person, place, thing, beliefs, within yourself external whatever this is for you right this juggling right going back and forth it's coming to an end eclipse season can bring things up from the past so just be aware of that but this is coming to an end and we're bringing in this wish fulfillment okay you guys and i already talked about the bottom of the deck i just want to clarify what are you walking away from or what should you be walking away from or yeah what should you be walking away from <laughs> Chaos, drama, conflict. Step away from any kind of negative people, situations, whatever this is. Walk away from this fight. Walk away from the battle. Walk away from the drama. Connect to your intuition. Go within. Follow your intuition. Okay? You're wiser than this. You are wiser than this. And devil energy. What's this devil energy about in regards to the potential outcome? Why is the devil here as the potential outcome? devil why is this the potential outcome yes 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 all right yep like i said to you guys karma yeah so uh four of swords came out up uh, um in reverse so this is that you will have been healed Okay, the outcome is being healed from this devil energy, from the fears and stuff. And the hidden position was the Four of Swords in the upright. So hidden is your healing. And then as the outcome, you will be, sorry guys, you will be healed. Okay, from this, this is what you're working on. Going within, connecting to your intuition, connecting to the light, connecting to source energy. And listen, listen to spirit and you're going to heal within. Spirit will reveal to you how to heal. Um... And then what else came out? Um, the other thing that came out, sorry, was the sun uh, card. So this is about your happiness. Okay, this is source energy connecting. So about your happiness, walking away from lack of mentality, negativity, you know, any kind of negative thoughts, beliefs, any type of lack, negative, you know, thoughts or beliefs or people, places and things, right? going to be different for everybody you're walking away from that you are investing in your happiness you are going to be investing in your happiness now okay or you should be going towards investing in your happiness and you will reap your rewards from that okay and you're going towards this leap of faith right this new beginning the full card here and what's this about this is giving and receiving so this is karma this is what you put out into the universe you get back right so some of you this has to do also with service work possibly Possibly. So maybe going towards um, being of service, I just heard for some of you, okay? But you are leaving this toxic negative devil energy behind. This is coming to an end with the world card. You're going to be healed, okay, from whatever this past toxic energy is. And you are going towards wish fulfillment. Sorry, guys, that was really loud. I apologize for hitting the mic again. I'm still not used to it. I'm also using one of my biggest... Uh, you know decks here which is interesting but let's get into your angel message you guys that was a very straightforward message uh sagittarius i can't believe i'm doing this reading in like 15 minutes wow that's a first for me <laughs> messages and guidance please for sagittarius okay one more and here we go Divine intervention, you guys cannot make this up, cannot make this up, okay, all 
Archangel Gabriel is urging you to speak your truth, authentic communication. Okay, you guys, somebody needs to hear that. But divine intervention, spirit is carrying you through your difficult times. Trust in the higher power. This is, you need to connect to the divine. You need to connect to spirit. And for others of you, remember I was talking about being of service, pres preserving the environment. Archangel Ariel is calling upon you to assist her into protecting her to protecting our beautiful planet some of you this is the being of service i was talking about okay some of you not all of you obviously all right all right my loves a beautiful reading loved being in your energy thank you so much for being here with me today thanks so much for watching i apologize for all the hitting the uh, microphone still getting used to it if you are new here, if you are not subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so. I would absolutely love to have you here as part of this ever-growing butterfly family. And if you are already subscribed, as you guys know, I appreciate each and every one of you. Please share this video, like this video. That's how my channel can grow as well. I would love to hear from you guys. So comment down below. Let me know what is it that you're releasing. Um, you know, especially going within, what is it that you're releasing and what is it that you're manifesting and creating and bringing in during this solar eclipse time? All right, my loves. Thank you so much. I wish you all peace, love, and light. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.